Today's action is very important for public education. This is our first 24 hour strike against local schools, local decisions. Barry Farrell is committed to defunding education. They want to replace retiring teachers with temporary staff. It's all about attacking the union, casualise the teaching workforce. And increasing class size right around the state. It's not every school, every student that's not going to support kids with special needs at all. Every time I see either a federal Labor government or the state Liberal government giving more money to rich private schools, it makes me sick. It's an attack by the rich, by the Liberals against us in the West of the poor. Today, the teaching profession is sending one clear message to the government that all educational change should be centred on the educational needs of our students. Our first three priorities are students, students and students. Let's contrast this with the government's professed priorities. Cuts, budgets and accountants. A future where I can be shuffled around from contract to contract. How can I have security and stability in a job if I don't know where my next job will come from, what my next job will be, and even if I'll have a job at all? effects that accompany NAPLAN and my school and the ever-increasing numbers of selective schools. Politicians from both sides are advocating policies that allow them to blame others for the problems they create. One example is New York City. To make ends meet, principals have trimmed after-school programs, shrunk their support staff, they have dismissed coaches who used to help teachers prepare for their lessons and teachers whose salaries they could no longer pay. The era of austerity has turned the notion of principal's autonomy into a recurring exercise in deciding what to do without. Worse than medal. Yeah. Minister Terry Medal and Premier Nick Griner slashed two and a half thousand teaching positions our biggest ever strike and rally was held on August 17 of that year. Anything between 60 and 80,000 people. One of the great days in our union's history. After a long and arduous campaign, we won those positions back and saved the staffing system. At least back then, they were upfront about cutting the budget and slashing jobs. This time it's different. More deceitful, more rat cunning. When governments freeze or cut your budget, you can do the dirty work of explaining to parents why their children's needs aren't being met. Let's never relinquish our deep and abiding responsibility to fight for our students' rights to a high quality public education. We will keep this campaign alive for as long as it takes. We will not be silent. We will not go away. There is too much at stake. We need to pressure Unions New South Wales to call public sector wide action again. Learn a bit from the firings action. And the next action that we'll take will be even larger and will involve parents. United action is how we can beat this miserable government.